Um, my lecture is about online social networks like Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and all these kinds of things and specifically collecting data from these networks. So my interest in this as an academic researcher, what kinds of data should we collect, how should we use those data and in particular if I conduct a study with people on Facebook or Twitter, do we get consent from them? So do they, do they give us permission to use their data? And also, if we've conducted a study, how can we make that study reproducible, i.e., how can we convince people that the results of that study are true? And how can we convince them that they can go off and reproduce the study or build on the study? So this is part of the scientific method, so it's very important. Um, so that's my interest as an academic. And so it touches on ethics, it touches on privacy, it touches on science, it touches on all sorts of good things. But this is important in a wider context as well, because people are losing trust in these social networks. So there's been a couple of very high profile cases recently, mainly involving Facebook, where people have lost trust in Facebook because they don't know what kinds of information are being shown to them. So when they see their news feed, is that things that are in, of interest to them or is it things that are of interest to Facebook? And so there were a couple of studies recently where, which, are, which have got quite a lot of press some of the press not quite as good as others, um, saying that perhaps Facebook should be getting consent from people before they try and experiment on which things they show to them. Um, this can have an effect on people's mental states and all sorts. And so more widely, there's lots of interest in what we call the filter bubble, so this notion that the things that Google show to you when you search for something aren't necessarily the objectively best things, but those perhaps are the things that Google wants to show to you. And so if we as researchers can build systems that allow you to control and, um, and break into this black box, make this black box of these algorithms more transparent to users, then we believe that this will just generally lead to more trust in these systems and more wider use of these things. We're calling this uh, human data interaction, so this notion of trying to understand how people can interact with their data um, and understand the data and understand what how data are used about them and how decisions are made on their behalf using their data, which they might not currently be aware of. And so for me, the main value of this summer school is the people. I and mean, there's a fantastic lineup that they've ma the organizers have managed to bring here. We have some of the world's leading security researchers you know, from the US and the UK. Um, we have, so, so we have security people, we have networking people, we have legal people as well, so it's not just it's it's not just the technical. We have we have some excellent legal scholars here as well. Um, I'm, I feel privileged to be you know, part of this lineup, um, and so the the real value for attendees, I think, will just be interacting with them, hearing what they have to say, doing the exercises, um, working together, but also meeting them at lunch and dinner and social events, and actually just interacting with these people. Um, I, I can't think of a summer school in this area that's you know, that, that's, that's got these people. So it's very simple. Um, you come here for the people.